So we've got a person who's attached to a rope being pulled by a boat while hanging from a parachute-like sail. All right, so this is a complex free body diagram to draw. So first of all, we've got a person, and they're being pulled by a boat. So I drew a picture right here, and this is my boat right here. And we know that the angle was 17 degrees. Got it? And, but, compared to that, there's also a parasail, and the parasail is up here at, was it 30 degrees? It was 30 degrees. Yes, 30 degrees. So this is at 30 degrees. So the what's push pulling on the person is the parasail at 30 degrees. And then the tension comes this way. And then there's also the weight of the, the glider guy, the, the person. So the question is, what's the weight? Now, we knew one other piece of information. We knew that the tension here was 2,100 newtons. So if we know that, the question is, what's the weight of the rider? Now, the key thing to understand this question is, here, let me kill the, the picture, so we have more space. The key uh, thing is that the sum of the forces in the x direction have to add up to zero. And so do the sum of the forces in the y direction. They have to add up to zero. And we're going to end up having like two equations, and we will, with two unknowns, and then we want to find the answer. So we have to like break everything out using sines, cosines, etc. Right? So if you will, the force in the y direction, which is the weight, there are, there are, there are three forces in the y direction. Let's think this through. We've got the force in the y direction from the sail. That's what the S stands for. And we've also got the, the, the boat is actually pulling down. So there's a force going down, the force of the tension in the y direction. So when we do the math, the force of the sail has to equal the weight of the right, because these are both going down, I have to add it to zero, plus the force of the tension in the y direction. And we're solving for W. So I have to find out what this is and what this is, and then boom, I got my answer, right? So I need this. So the force of the, of the tension of the rope in the y direction is simple using um, sine, cosine, and tangent. So I can figure this out, is that if this is 2100, this is 17, that's a sine. So the sine of 17 degrees is equal to the opposite. That's the force of the tension in the y direction over the hypotenuse, which is 2,100 newtons. So if I take 2,100 newtons times the sine of 17 degrees, I get 614. So FTY equals 614 newtons. So this is 614 newtons. Boom. I'm done. I know what that is. I'm gold. Right now we have to mess with this thirty degree thing. So what? I, what? The only x uh, variables, if you will. Now let's talk about the sum and the x's. The only x variables is this x and this x. So whatever this is has to be equal to this force here, because they have to balance each other out. Sum of forces has to add up to zero. By the way, in the problem it said they were moving at constant velocity, which means they're not accelerating. That's why this is what we call an equilibrium problem. And so if this is 2,100 newtons, I can just solve. I mean, now I've figured this is 614. Um, this is like Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to take 2,100 squared minus 614 squared. And I'm going to take the square root of that answer. And that's 2,008. So the force, this force going in this direction is 2,008, which makes this to be 2,008. Got it? All right, now, if I know that this force here is 2008, I want to find the force here, the FYS. Bingo, right? Because if I know this and I know this, boom. So how do I find this FYS? Well, again, let's just, I'll just redraw this triangle. If this is 30 degrees and we know this number is 2008, I want to find this number. All right, and so this is the opposite, the opposite over the adjacent. So this is, I can say, 10 of 30 is equal to F. Y S, right? Because this is F Y of the uh, 
of the sale over 2008. So if I take the tangent of 30, tangent of 30, times it by 2008, I get 1159. I get 1159 newtons. So that's the, so I have to say 1159 equals W plus 614. So 1159 minus 614 gives me a weight of 545 newtons. Solved. But notice what we're doing here, just substituting things in. The key thing is the sum of the forces in the X, the sum of the forces in the Y equals zero. And it's also important, I think what I struggled with when I was first doing this problem is writing out the question and, and getting this diagram. Right? To simplify that again, right? you've got the diagram, you've got the weight down, you've got the tension at whatever it was, 17 degrees, um, which was 2100 newtons. And then we had uh, this nebulous force, the, 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 the force of the, of the sail at 30 degrees. So that's your for, free body diagram. Once you have your free body diagram, you've got to work all these problems out. Got it?